In this lab, we're going to create an interactive map using Google My Maps. But the first thing we need to do is we need to prepare the data for importation into the map. And uh, in order to prepare the data, we first have to decide, well, what's the theme of the map? What kind of data points do we want to show on the map and how they're related? So I have chosen to uh, map uh, some of the stadiums in the Big Ten universities. So here we have Beaver Stadium at Penn State. Capital One at University of Maryland and, and so on and so forth. So I went into Google and uh, I typed in the name of each of the stadiums uh, at these universities and I got these addresses. So I set up this Excel spreadsheet and the first column or field name is place of interest. So I have uh, six stadiums. For your project you'll need ten items. I For six for demonstration purposes and the address. Now notice this is extremely important. The address needs to be in this format. It needs to be the street, comma, city, state, zip code. So make sure when you set up your Excel spreadsheet it's set up with the address in the one field called address and this is what it looks like. Now in order to import this data into Google My Maps uh, you can't directly import it as an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, one of the formats that you can import directly is a CSV file. CSV standing for comma separated values. And a comma separated value file looks just like this. It is a text file. And commas are used to separate each of the values. So look here. Let's compare. So here's the Excel spreadsheet. And here is its corresponding CSV files. So we have the field names place of interest comma address. We have the first record Beaver Stadium comma then the address Capital One comma and then the address. So we see that this is truly a comma separated value file which is nothing more than a text file. So how do we get this? Well we simply go up here and when we uh, save this or export this data we go to file export change file type and I want to separate it as a comma separated comma delimited CSV file I choose that save as and then I go into the folder in this case I set up a folder named lab mapping data and there it is. Say Big Ten Stadiums dot C S V. Very important. And that's how we get that uh, data. So now the next thing is how do we get the data from there into our map? So let's go over and look at Google Maps. Okay. So here we are at Google Maps. I went into and I Googled Google My Maps and here's some previous students maps as you can see but I want to create a new map so I click create a new map now if you don't have a Google account you will have to sign in and create a Google account so that Google My Maps will come up it's free doesn't cost anything and it's very easy to set up your account so create a new map so when I click create a new map this is the interface that comes up and the first thing we need to do is we need to title the map so I'm going to title the map so it makes sense Big Ten Stadium and I can add a description save that and now it asks me to import into this uh, my data so I click import and you can see that there are different types uh, many of these types are specific uh, file types for um, for maps but we have a CSV file so let's go ahead and select that from our computer and let's go ahead and find that I'm going over here there's my CSV file okay and it uploaded successfully and the first thing it says select the columns from your file that tell us where to put the place marks. Well, where to put the place marks is the address. So I select the field address. Continue. 
pick a column to use as a title for the place marks. Well, the title for the place marks would be the title of the stadium. And I click Finish. And as you can see, it's working. It's plotting. And there, there are my points. Beautiful. Look at that. And I can zoom in and out. And there are the six stadiums. There's Beaver Stadium in Happy Valley. There's Capital One uh, down in, uh, in Maryland, College Park. Over here is Ohio, Michigan State, University of Michigan, Wisconsin. Here they are all listed. Now, what's really nice is you can go in and you can stylize some of this. Uh, instead of having these basic uh, icons, you can go in and I can say, let's go to Beaver Stadium. And what do I want to use? Well, for Beaver Stadium, I want to use a nice Penn State blue. Purple. Let's find a nice blue. And uh, let's find an icon. There's a football. That's great. And uh, there we go. So let's look what that looks like. So there it is. There's my blue uh, football icon over Happy Valley. And again, when I click that, I can go in and I can add some more information. Now, look what Google Maps has done. This Beaver Stadium is coming from my Excel or CSV file. Here's the address, and it went out, and it took the address and returned the lo longitude and latitude for that address. I can also go and add a picture. So let me go and add a picture, and uh, I need to go and I need to find a picture of the stadium. So I'm going to do a Google image search. I'm going to do Penn State Beaver Stadium. Ah, there's a nice picture. I'm going to select that. Save it. Close it out. Now, look what happens when I uh, serve my interactive map and I go over the icon and I click and there it is so I get the name of the stadium I get my picture I get the address I get the latitude and the longitude very very cool also there's some other nice tools so you, you can say well how far is it uh, let's say from Happy Valley out to Ohio we want to go out to Ohio to see the game so I can get my ruler and I can drag it down and I can get an approximate measure and it's approximately 200 and let's say 82 miles from Beaver Stadium out to Ohio State again some very useful tools so what I want you to do is let me click off of that so what I want you to do is go ahead and find the theme it doesn't have to be Big Ten stadiums it could be national parks it could be your favorite restaurants, tourist attractions, whatever you decide. Uh, they could be in, in your county, they could be in the United States or around the world. Uh, create your Excel spreadsheet for those 10 addresses. Export that to a CSV file. Import the CSV file into a MyMap. Name it. Style it with the appropriate icons. Okay. And you can also change the base map. You can go and you can select topography. So whatever you like, you choose. This is your project. I'm just going to go with the basic base map. Okay. Now, the most important thing is to be able to share your work. A, you want to share your work because if you're in business, you want to be able to share this with your customers or your salespeople who are on the road or whoever you're mapping this for. And for this class, you want to be able to share it with me so that I can see it and grade it. So up here under Share, okay, right now it says Private, only I can access it. I need to change that. I need to go and I say Public on the web. And anyone can view it, save it, OK? 
Okay, and here's my link to share. So what I want to do is I want to copy this link. So I can right click, copy, and then I'm going to go back to my Excel spreadsheet and I'm going to paste that. And this is what you're going to upload uh, to your Canvas lab uh, for credit. Because what when you upload this, this is what I'll see. I'll see the data and I'll also be able to click on this shared link uh, to go and look at your map. Okay, It's good to have uh, give this to a classmate or two and have them test it to make sure that they can see it. If they can see it, I can see it. If they can't see it, I can't see it. So to make sure you get credit for your work, uh, that would be a good idea to share that with your classmates. And we click Done. So there it is. Um, here we have the data. We got the data into our database or Excel file. We exported and formatted that data in a particular way. We imported that into our application, our mapping application, which happens to be Google My Maps. Uh, Google My Maps then plotted the data, uh, and we went in and then we stylized those plots. So that's the lab. Have fun with it.